You gonna go in and film it? Yes. Look how go. it's so amazing. It's like perfect. So I took her to therapy. No, that's the bottom of therapy. That's not even, that doesn't even touch therapy. Um, I guess we should What's your name? Ourselves. My yeah. name is Asa. <laughs> yep, I'm Fong and our, our boat is uh, Petrichor. <clears throat> so, um, one of the things we like to do as we're, um, as we're learning to be on the boat more, we know we're not going to have our car anymore because we're going to sell the Jeep. So, like, when we want to go get coffee and stuff like that in the morning, the coffee, uh, well, Duncan, because, you know, it's Duncan. We're, we're walking more and more and more. So, we're just trying to get used to being out and walking to where we need to go and stuff like that because we know once we head out we're we're just gonna have to walk everywhere pretty much because yeah. we're not going to carry around bikes and stuff like that just because it's just a, it's a it's a maintenance thing and it's a weight thing and it's a storage thing and all this and that although yesterday i saw this guy with the segway looking thing it's just like one wheel but it looks like a skateboard and i was talking to him for the longest time I want one of those. Patrick almost had a heart attack, like just thinking of me being on one of those because I may be a little bit clumsy, but I really want one. And we can keep it in a backpack. You saw the video clip where she broke her toe, right? Yeah, that's just walking around normal. One of the other things that we need to get used to. I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, uh, making dinner. It's oh, yeah. super easy because we're not here uh, full time yet in our boat and we're here like four days out of the week. It's just so easy to constantly feel on vacation. Um, we wake up and we make breakfast. Um, so we still cook on the boat and keep everything moving and you know being used. But when it comes to the afternoon, I don't know, like I need to switch that because it's super easy to constantly feel like you're on vacation. And um, just go now, grab something to eat. Yeah, and now it's not a problem, but once you quit work and everything, all this stuff adds up. So when we're back home, or not back home, but ba back where we're working, it seems like there's a more natural, um, there's a nat natural, what would you call it? Tendency? No. Habit? It's kind of like a routine, a natural routine. You get off work and I, I have dinner done because I love cooking. So I don't know what is happening to my brain that I can't switch to that on the boat. So that's one of the things that I'm working on um, as I transition to the boat that I noticed that I really need to work on. Ooh, very close. <laughs> yeah. So that's another thing that we found out that we need to do. So aside from that, we are moving through projects. Everybody's always working on projects. And uh, Riley, actually, from the Vagabond, we met him at one of the boat shows in Miami. And he said, everybody is always working on a boat. And it's glue. And I get it. So this weekend we prioritized our project list. I feel really good that we only have like three more projects and we can be out. Yeah. So I'm excited about that, that we narrowed that down and then the rest of the stuff will get done, but we can do it while we're on our way. There's no reason for us to still stay and transition and it's never gonna be perfect, right Chris? So, your boat is never going to be perfect. You're just constantly going to work on it, kind of like how you do on a house. So, this is us transitioning. Yeah. We're doing pretty good. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go meet with some friends yeah. for lunch. Hey. Yeah, give them a heads out. They're getting ready to leave this week. Yeah. Um, in uh, Petricor. It's the name of their boat and they're getting ready to head out so we're super excited for them so we're gonna have brunch with them and set them out wish them good luck and fair seas and I'm sure we'll bump into them at some point around the world too because we're shortly behind. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Alright, 
um, I guess we should What's your name? ourselves. My yep. name is Asa. <laughs> yep, I'm Fong, and our, our boat is uh, Petrichor. It's right. a Gulf Star 37 sloop rig, and we are preparing to head down to the Keys again, where we'll hopefully meet up with yes. you guys. Yep. our new yep. friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll meet and see who else is there. We'll see, and then kind of plan our next hop. Who knows? Yeah. Yep. We just know we're gonna get down there. And then yes. We get down. We'll get down there. <laughs> Yeah. Same. Awesome. So, yeah. so what, all, what all have you guys done to your boat and stuff like that? Well, like oh, rewired solar, everything? Oh, we've, we've done a complete refit since we bought it. Like it was cut like almost three years ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we got that. So we stripped out the entire interior down to like the fiberglass, um, redid every, got all the leaks out. And we, you know, we really, you know, worked on getting our boat so that it's serviceable. You can get to everything without having to take trim off. Um, all the electrical has been completely redone and redesigned wow. um, and now we're just in the process of slowly hardening the boat up so that we can take her out for longer trips yes. so for the people that are too lazy to scroll down and read the description what's the name <laughs> of your boat and what's what's your blog okay oh. so it's uh so it's petrichor that's p-e-t-r-i-c-h-o-r -E and it stands for so it's that awesome earthy smell that you experience when it rains. For the that, first time after a yeah, long dry spell. Yeah, the first time spell. after a dry spell, that's Petrichor. And, uh, and yeah, and I guess our blog is journeytojustus.com. Um, we haven't updated it in a while because we kind of we got we got really caught up doing other boat stuff. Boat work, you know. Yeah, boat work <laughs> and meeting people. No, nobody gets tied up doing boat projects. Oh, no. Exactly. And, and you know, it's that. like the blog thing and the stuff that you're doing with your videos. It, it takes a lot of time. Yes, it's it, a full time job. It is a full time job. Remember that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I appreciate the videos that people make. Yeah, so all, the, all the other guys who do all these videos, yeah, then providing great content. It, it really does take a lot of work and and. I guess we didn't appreciate that before, but now we do. And so we need to get back on the uh, the blogging course. But if you go look at our blog, you know, we started this way back years ago when we when we were in Portland and we just decided we asked ourselves the question is, hey, do you want to you know go sail around the world? And and you know, it just kinda of follows our step every <laughs> every way of every step along the way from uh, from going there Moving here to Florida, had no idea where we were going to move or no what we are going to do. No sailing experience, to finding <laughs> to, our boat. And kind I of know somebody things. else like that. Yeah, exactly. I know, this one gets me the most excited of meeting them because I am, I want to go to Key West and then we'll see what happens. And everybody's like, no, you need a plan, you need to be here by then. And then I finally met my soulmates. <laughs> Yay! Feel the same way. Right. Just make it there Just and then we'll figure, yeah, we'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. You don't need yes. a schedule. Like more more cruises have ended on a schedule than anything else. Yeah, no, I wanna yeah. enjoy. I wanna enjoy the local stuff. I wanna enjoy whatever happens. Yeah, exactly. You wanna give your time to be comfortable. Yeah, it's part yeah. of the journey. <laughs> yeah, it is part of the journey. <laughs> so really I'm is. sure you'll see a lot of them more often as we make it down there and we we'll meet up. Yeah, we better. We'll <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we'll see. So awesome. So good luck. Thank you right, so thank much. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, you guys, have a, be very safe. Yeah. Thank you for uh, accompanying us to brunch. Oh, yeah. Because no <laughs> we don't really, I don't think anybody who lives on a sailboat actually has a time schedule they follow for food. Oh, no, you wake up when, when the sun comes up and then uh, you fall asleep when you're too tired to stay up. So that's, about it. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Right. All right, well, thank you guys for coming out with us today. All right. <laughs> So we were driving around on our dinghy and I found the cutest boat and the owner is here and this boat has its own blog so I'm going to show you and I'm going to talk to this gentleman so he can tell you more about it. It's absolutely amazing. So here's the owner of the boat. What is Hello your name? There. My name is Chris. Hi Chris. Yeah. So you, I was admiring your boat. Tell me about it. It's a Flicker 20. It was designed by Bruce Bingham about 50, 60 years ago now. This boat was built about 40 years ago in California. It's sailed extensively. And um, a couple of years ago, I saw it over here in Gulfport. It was a mess. And uh, we bought it and I spent the last two years uh, restoring it. Originally I took it. I gutted it totally down to bare everything on the mm -hmm. inside just bare fiberglass 
shipped it back to the factory where it came from and they put a lot of new interior and a lot of new wood. It wow. came back, finished doing a lot of the external work and a lot of the wiring and built a dodger for it with uh, other people. Obviously, you get a lot of help around. Um, it's a bit of a passion, but she's fully electric now. She lives off of solar panels. I don't need so short power at all. Wow. And everything is manual. It's uh, manual foot pumps. There's no refrigeration on it. You know, yeah. it's just uh, very, very simple, but um, it's just How a really good thing. find out about it? Well, they can go onto my blog. Oh. Uh, they can go onto the blog. The blog is www.flicka, F L I C K A 20 dash wookie which is the name of the boat W O O K I E, and uh, all the restorations on there there's a lot of history there's a lot about Bruce Bingham the designer of the boat there's the reason why I call it wookie is from my dog it's my ex dog's name so there's a whole story about how wookie traveled the world from Australia and around oh, Asia wow. and Europe so that's all there as well oh that's awesome and we'll definitely put a link down below if you want to just do that okay. and you can um, follow us so let's go aboard and look at this amazing boat <laughs> So as we like to do on our normal evening thing, we sit out usually in the cockpit and we'll kind of chill. You can't see it's dark out there. Um, <laughs> well, we have our little light out there, but with the camera, it doesn't really show up. Hi, okay. I'm here. <laughs> so she uh, hands me her glass and says, hey, can you give me about like a, uh, another third cup of um, uh, wine? I'm like, sure. I'm like, how much do you want? third cup is kind of vague she goes hey I just need you to fill me to therapy no I said take me to therapy take me to therapy take me to therapy so 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 here's therapy so I took her to therapy no that's the bottom of there that's not even that doesn't even touch therapy you have to go one. <laughs> I have to. I have to give her more till she gets one more the therapy. Inch. Yeah, just saying. One more inch. Story of my life. One more inch. I'm gonna, you know. Hmm. And of course, if you like what you're seeing, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> it doesn't cost you anything. And whenever we upload a video, then you'll get notified so you can see it and keep commenting. I do try to answer everybody's messages. So give me a little bit of time until I get to yours because we do get a lot of messages. But I will, if you, especially if you have a question, we will answer to the best of our abilities. So yep. keep it going. Yep. All right. Be crazy. Yes, yeah, cross the street and we're out. See you guys next week.